live from the romper room of my soul. It's the Mastication Station. With your host, because no one else would take him in, Uwe Blob. And the studio ed, patent pending, Kurt Rambis. Our guest tonight, runner and professional festival goer, Tina Christie. And movie maker and traveling yodeler, Dave Weiss. Our musical guest, the comedy stylings of Clean and Jerk. Our sponsor tonight is the Gary Hand-Me-Down Shoe Company. For 45 years, Hand-Me-Down Shoes has been in business. Love is wonderful the second time around. And now, last Christmas, he gave you his heart, Tony J. Lennon. here. Hi, everybody. I'm kind of confused. Um, hmm. Well, welcome to Mastication Station. I'm assuming that's what we're doing here. I got the tie on. So I uh, want to let you know that we have been, I'm really proud of this, we've been nominated for a Grammar nominated, uh, Award. So I'm really proud of that fact. Um, so thank you for acknowledging that, uh, all of you in here. Um, I did want to let you know about a Texas man who was working on an ATM machine, and he got stuck in the ATM machine. He was stuck in there for several hours, Ooh. and he got out because what he did was he wrote a note, get me out of here, and when, then when people were trying to get money, he sent it through instead of the money. <laughs> um, but he's lucky, I think, because in Australia, there's a new vending machine with uh, clams in it, so. <laughs> Oysters. <laughs> Oysters. Same thing. Hey, are you here? I'm here now, thank you. We're the corner, Studio Ed, calling, Studio Ed here, calling you in from the Benihana, which, again, we were there late. The whole crew, we were having those cocktails with the pumpkins and the cantaloupes and everything. And, and steam, and You had, and stuff. again, too many. Uh, Tony wanders <laughs> when we go there, and he wandered away. So we went back to our Hotel One, and then I got a call <laughs> right before the studio that uh, they had a guy in a gurney. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the crew went over to Benihana's, and we found Tony laying against the wall <laughs> so we had they were niceness of us to give us this gurney thing and that's why you're here now wearing the same clothes you were wearing last night okay because the last thing i remember was was just going into the hotel room and and i was going to crash yeah you didn't make it you made it to the hotel room when we checked in that was that's all i remember that was like six o'clock okay and you had like four cantaloupe pineapple <laughs> pumpkin drinks that are three over your limit Okay. But it was a lot of fun, and we have a lot of pictures <laughs> that will be posted <laughs> later on on MySpace, right? On your MySpace, on your MySpace. Yeah, MySpace page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that we got that going for us, and I heard that we have a new sponsor tonight, and I'm really happy about this. Uh, a friend of the show's from uh, where are we at? We're in uh, Urethra, Tex uh, Kansas. <laughs> Urethra, Kansas, <laughs> which is near above Texas. Slightly it's above Texas. The, by Kansas, well, by way of Kansas, <laughs> right? If you go through Kansas <laughs> south, you'll hit... Urethra. Well, <laughs> you're still in Kansas. Okay. Right. Now, Kansas is a square thing with the little loop on the side. Correct. Maybe that's Oklahoma. That's where we're at now. If, so. if I got that wrong, audience, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do not throw things at the van. And would you explain our audience members? Our I think audience members, we have, according to my math, 415 <laughs> local residents. Wow. And all of them, not all of them, but if you'll notice, hold, go hold, hold up those. There you go. <laughs> Almost all of them have a small disc uh -huh. that lights up and then vibrates. Oh. And I was told that that's seating at Benihana. Okay. okay. We didn't get one because we got there late. I probably burnt that bridge anyway. For I think you stole it. You have like six of them in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. It's so, not good. Uh, so we're kind of a waiting room for the restaurant. We are. And so if they, so if it, don't get upset if your thing goes off and you have to leave. We, yeah. we understand completely. Yeah. 
you might not win the prize. And so. under their chairs tonight is, is an envelope. And in the envelope is? Is a single wrapped foldable bag with a non-closable <laughs> top with a stick of gum. Oh, hey. Juicy fruit. Non-chewed this time. It's not chewed. All right. Still in the wrapper yeah. for the most part. As I was saying, our sponsor tonight is a friend of the show. His name is Gary Hammedown. Hammedown. And Gary Hammedown is for the last hour many years, 35 to 40 years or so, mm -hmm. I'm always estimating, uh, has had a used uh, shoe store here in town, the, mm -hmm. the Hammedown Shoes. Hammedown. And so we're looking forward to um, having some um, shoe sales <laughs> here at the So our guest tonight Surprise! is Tina Christie. And she's here to talk about running and the marathon she's done and all that stuff that uh, would be awesome. I don't run. No, um, not a bit. If I was in cross country, I'd move to a small country. You want to run if it's down here. Uh, both ways. Yeah. It's interesting. She has a first name and a last name. It could, I like that. Could change it. So when you say it backwards, Christy it's the same. Christy Yeah. It'd be the same person. And also Dave Weiss, a local Dave filmmaker, Weiss. is here to talk about his latest film and all the... Uh, reverie that goes with that. So I'm surprised you got him. I did. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away. If you no. do, we'll never forget. This year, fashion loves the big, big curl. The big, big curl loves dippity do. Dippity do. Rollers cling to dippity do. Never slip, never drip. Now rollers out. Curl is in. Really in with dippity do. Cause nothing holds like dippity do. Holes and holes like dippity do. Big curls need big holes, so hold it with dippity do. Oh, I can, I can go any time. Yes! Hey, welcome back to Mastication Station. Some uh, signals back there. Thank you. Hey, we're back, and we're, our sponsor tonight is a good friend of the shows here in uh, Kansas, uh, Urethra, Kansas, mm -hmm. uh, Gary Hammedown. Hammedown. Gary Hammedown has been in the shoe business for 35 years, mm -hmm. and Hammedown Shoes has been a fabulous company here in Urethra, Kansas. Um, selling used shoes. So Lee is here to tell you more about that right now. Yeah, we'd like to thank our audience. We have an audience tonight of 415 yes. uh, family members from the wonderful city of Eureka, Kansas. Yep. And because this is mid-early November, mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely not tornado season, <laughs> which is why we're in Kansas. We were on the East Coast uh, last month, which was hurricane season. Mm -hmm. And this time we're, we're not in an area where we should be blown away <laughs> by any Thing that's moving faster than 20 miles an hour. And we'd like to thank our 415 studio members from Eureka, Kansas. Uh, we're right next to the Benihanas. I think this is more of an <laughs> overflow crowd because they've all got these little things, little discs that have lights on them. And right. every, every once right. in a while I've noticed they that someone's, someone's will light up and start to shake and they'll get up leave. and leave. <laughs> okay. So those of you uh, that don't have your little machines go off, we appreciate you coming and yeah. staying here. And watching our show. Yeah. And so if we hear if we hear a uh, a buzzer, yeah. uh, and somebody's going to go eat. So right. If someone if we see a light, it's a flying saucer in the audience. Yeah. Then that's their their not their tables available. And there would have been more here if we hadn't just advertised on MySpace. I think. <laughs> right. But right. Le learn and learn and live. We right. Did that that Twitter uh, thing that we don't know how to do. Tina Christie is here. She's here. So everybody welcome her. She is a runner. Welcome, Tina. Hello. Yes. So how long have you been running, and what's the longest distance? I've been running for about three years. Mm -hmm. um, I do run walking. Mm -hmm. um, my longest distance has been nine miles. Mm -hmm. um, then I've done a bunch of trail races. Uh -huh. um, everything from Fort for Fitness mm -hmm. to the Taste of Arts Beat Beethoven. Ooh. Can you describe, because you were telling me this earlier about the Beat Beethoven yes. thing. That sounds fascinating. They, pay, they play Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, mm -hmm. and they have somebody dressed as Beethoven, <laughs> and they run, we run, it's a four-mile course, mm -hmm. and if you can beat the song, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, and beat Beethoven, at the end you get a medal. Wow. And that's during the Taste of Arts. Okay, okay. So when you beat him, you don't like with a stick. No, you not have to a like stick. You have, have to beat him running. Yeah, so you have to uh, get yes. ahead of him. Okay. Yes. Because he can't really run very fast, can he? Not in those old-fashioned clothes. Not in those. In the knickers or whatever. Beard no. and spectacles. Yeah. So um, 
the, the, what's a trail run? Is that in the woods? It's in the woods, yes. And you go um, down different paths. Mm -hmm. You have tree roots. Sometimes you have to cross rivers. Um, it's a total different, you, you work lots of different muscles and mm -hmm. body parts. So uh, what has been, what's been an advantage of all this running that you've done? What, what kind of benefit have you seen from all this? Well, I feel better physically. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of great people doing it. Um, it's a great community, the mm -hmm. running community out there. Mm -hmm. um, they encourage you. They're there with you. They wait for you to finish, cross mm -hmm. that finish line. Mm -hmm. um, and mentally, I am better because I know that I can get out there and I can finish the mm -hmm. race. So has, that, has mm -hmm. that kind of spilled over into other parts of your life where maybe you have some kind of a difficulty? If you feel like, I can do this when it's in the running, Right. Does that go to the other stuff right. that you And then sometimes in everyday life, you know, if you're struggling or whatever, you know that you can get through it. Mm -hmm. Or if you go out for a run or a walk, you can get your mind cleared and feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. See, Tony, you have that advantage because your mind's cleared all the time. <laughs> well, when it's empty, I right. think that's the same thing. It's, it's easier to put things in it. Right. <laughs> right. Good point. We don't wait. That made no point. Okay. Um, so when you're running, what's what's going through your mind? I mean, are you having to psych yourself out, or is it music that helps you? What, what I do, do I do listen to music. Um, there are several people that we've met that um, we go the same speed with, mm -hmm. and so we'll sit and uh, we'll sit we'll walk with them mm -hmm. um, and visit and catch up on what's going on in their lives or what's going on in our lives, and we've made a lot of great friends. So mm -hmm. you, what's on your playlist? What's like? What's the one song or many songs that really gets you? I like ACDC, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like a little 70s rock. I'd like to see you running with the kids' makeup. All right. <laughs> They'd be sweating everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, be whatever to psych yourself out, right? <laughs> right. So you're a, an also, besides running, and you mentioned the taste of the arts. Yes. You're also into the festivals in town. I am. So what's, uh, describe some of the best festivals that you like to go to. I like to go to the Greek Fest. Um, you like I the like Greek Fest, don't you? Love it. Well, music, like dancing, yes. the food. The food. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, baklava. Uh -huh. Octopus. That's yes. got nuts in it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah I can't You'd like the octopus. <laughs> it's very clingy. And yes. Octopus? It, octopus. Oh, is it a ride at the Greek film? No, it's... A <laughs> oh, on your face? It's <laughs> okay. Is that a dessert? No, it's, it's, it's a squid-like thing. It's oh, a creature that lives in the ocean that's very big in the Greek menu. Yes. Re is it alive? <laughs> but not, not when you eat it. Not when well, you eat good. it. That's good. That's good. So, okay, Greek Fest, what else? Uh, I like the German Fest, mm -hmm. and actually I did a German Fest 5K. Ooh. Okay. So then afterwards you get a really cool glass, and then you can go drink beer. Okay. Now that one you, you have to run with Lederhosen. On it, okay. <laughs> well, you should, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how about the uh, Three Rivers Festival? The oh, I love the Three Rivers Festival. Do they have a, a run for They that? have a run. Actually, it's called Runners on Parade. And they run um, a three miles before the parade. It's actually part of the parade route. Mm -hmm. And then when you finish, um, you can sit and watch the parade. Hmm. What's the that. one where they're where they're making everybody colorful? The color runs. Okay. They have those. That's a good name for it. Um, they have bubble runs. Ooh. Um, they have ones where they go on inflatables. You go up and down inflatables. Oh. Um, like an obstacle course yes. kind of thing. Yes. Do they have any runs where you're inside one of the bubbles? No. And you're running Not against that I know. Well, other cool. people. The big ball. The big ball. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. See how fast you could go? Yeah, or put snakes in it. Just tumble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> snakes in it. Snakes in a bubble. Snakes. Well, snakes you'd run faster. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> right. You like gluten? Uh, yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> we have to say that. That's good. I'm glad she said that. We yeah. did lose one. We, can use we lose a lawyer for that comment. That's good. Because we had gluten sponsor our show once and it didn't go very well. The Canadians. Um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing to confuse our yeah. fabulous our audience, audience members. Four hundred and uh, what? Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, sorry, four hundred and twelve. Twelve, because they went to eat. The party of three just left. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you coming here. Are Thank you okay you. with a little challenge? Sure. Okay. All right. Because you know, on Mastication Station, we have to do a challenge. So here's our challenge tonight. You can pick the marker you want. They're all the same. Oh. Careful, or sharp. This is. Yeah. Okay. So here, I'll take a plate, you take a plate, and what Lee is going to do is, he's oh. going to describe a scene. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Oh. He hasn't told me. Do I know what it is? Probably not. Okay. And <clears throat> we're going to draw that scene on our plate. Okay, doesn't but matter which side. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. But the, the, the problem is, it's going to be up here. Okay. Okay, so you ready? Okay. And okay. I don't know what it is, so I didn't cheat. I usually cheat. Fascinating. 
Yeah, but he then also loses. Then I don't turn over a new leaf for the new year. Good luck for that. I don't have any leaves. So. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. okay, you are in a city bus. Okay. And Wait. you are coming to a four-way stop. Okay. There is a person on the left that's in a wheelchair. I'm, try I'm on the stop sign right now. Yes, you're at the stop sign. The person on your left is in a wheelchair, and they are slowly coming across in front of your bus when they are suddenly surprised by a squirrel. Okay, squirrel's down here. <laughs> who leaps onto the lap of the person in the wheelchair, <laughs> startling the bus driver, okay. who slams the bus in reverse. Okay, I got... <laughs> smashing into a large man on a moped. Okay, I hope that's the all. And that's where the police the arrive. Scene. <laughs> okay. And end scene. Okay. And the police are over here. Yeah, they just arrived on scene. How you draw a moped? Uh, uh, probably a line with a stick. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Can we zoom in on these? I'm not sure you want to. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's going to show so this now, first? So now, well, you show yours first. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have the audience members by show of non nonverbal, by show of thumbs up, if you think Tony's <laughs> plate is really show good. Show of thumbs up, no show sound. Show of thumbs okay. up with no sound. Okay. Oh my if gosh. you think Tony's is really good. Go ahead, Tony, show me yours. Okay. That's uh, awesome. Okay, Wait. that's an, yeah. easy, that's an easy count. There's the bus, the stop sign. You, you can't explain it. You know, no, they I'm, have I'm to seeing some <coughs> thumbs down in there. Okay, okay I, I got it. Okay, next, Tina. Okay. Ooh. He looks like a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I see the wheelchair and the bus pretty well there. Um, okay. How fun. about a show of applause for Tony? Okay. No crickets, please. Well, oh, that's that was weak. That was weak. Well, and a show of applause that, for Tina. Okay. There it is. Hands down. All right. Tina, oh, awesome. Very audience, good. Please thank <laughs> Tina for being here. We'll be right back after this. Thank you very much. Nice. Battleship! 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 Milton Bradley's great game of strategy. It's loaded with action and suspense. Play it anytime, anywhere. B4! Hit! J1! Huh! You missed! J10! Oh, you suck my battleship! <laughs> battleship! A game of strategy from Milton Bradley. <laughs> this could get very ugly. It could be ugly. Mm -hmm. Didn't know it, but we're back. So that was an that was an awesome commercial break. Thank you too so, too much so much for our sponsor Gary Hammerdown. Hammerdowns. Hammerdown Shoes has been in business for forty three years. Mm -hmm. It was thirty five. Like, well, th whatever years it is. Well, the audience knows because they're all friends. Of so here we are in uh, where are we at. We're in your Urethra, Kansas. Urethra, Kansas. Urethra, Kansas. A little tiny dot uh, on the map, mm -hmm. but no tornadoes in the last ten years. <laughs> that says a lot for a Kansas town. Is it because of? Is it because of the? Uh, the I think the it's levy? because of the hand-me-down that big store. Oh. When we first drove into town, it was that, that store was huge. Yes. And I think they're doing more than shoes. What are they doing? Pants, shirts. Hand-me-down <laughs> pants. Hand-me-down pants. Hand-me-down <laughs> shirts. <laughs> it's a. It's like the it's Sears. It's like the Sears of Kansas. It's a firm. It's a, it's a firm rooted yes. in this, this establishment of this town. Well, anyway, uh, with us tonight is a good treat. We have Dave Weiss. He's a Weiss. treat. He is here. Uh, please welcome Dave. Welcome, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Smattering of applause. It's quite an audience we have. <laughs> it's a little lower than usual. It's uh, a little lower than it was, it was 20, uh, 20 minutes ago. It was advertised ago. on MySpace. So uh, our their audience isn't quite what it used no, to be. No, it's not. It, really. it, uh, it was a snafu, I would say. And yeah, you'll notice sure. that a lot of our audience members have these small round discs <laughs> with lights on them. Uh -huh. And when they start to flash and ring, they get they up and leave, leave because yeah. we're next to the Benihanas. Right. And not many of them come back, actually. We're down to so the front three rows. Yeah. <laughs> so it must be, they must be hopping over there, the Benihana. Uh, yeah. Big gluten. It's a gluten, uh, diet. gluten, it's gluten, gluten bar. Yeah, gluten baby. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to compliment your tie, but thank way. you, thank you, Peabody and Sherman. You want to? It's classic. Are you going to come? I, I did. I oh, just did. I love it. Okay. 
Um, yeah, it's a understated compliment. It is. Thank you. It's an underhanded one. Well, that's so not we flew you one. in uh, f uh, from Fort Wayne to talk about your movie making. Yes. You're a filmmaker. Yeah. Well, I don't appreciate being put on a biplane. <laughs> <laughs> but we got here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. despite the so wind shears, crop dusting. How many movies have you made? Eight. Eight movies. <laughs> wow. Wow. And, uh, and, and so the latest one, tell us about the latest well, one. Well, it's really done. late. <laughs> it took two years. <laughs> <laughs> so, it took, so it took longer than you thought. Well, no. The last two movies have each taken about two years. Uh -huh. So... Um, the movie you were in took four months. I wasn't so. in the movie. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was, I, you were, Tony. You can't I deny it. Either. No, it, 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 we'll get to that. Oh, sure, sure. During commercial, right? <laughs> rest so, and break. what's the name of the movie? What's it about? And when's it going to come out? Okay, well, the movie, the new movie, it's called Healed by Grace 2. Mm -hmm. The Day. Wrath of Khan, right? No, <laughs> 10 Days of Grace. It does have a subtitle. Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, okay. And um, that is a sequel to Healed by Grace, uh -huh. which came out in 2012, I think it mm -hmm. was. And that's been out, you know, all over the globe mm -hmm. for sure. however many years, five years mm -hmm. it's been. Uh, what's, what's the premise of the movie? Or the, or well, the series, if you will. Well, it's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, the, the, first, the first movie was about a young, a young lady who undergoes a tragedy and, and um, got involved with horses as part of her rehabilitative process. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was... Um, you know, it's, it's a family-friendly movie. Mm -hmm. It'll make you laugh, make you cry. I mean, I, I refer to it as a chick flick horse mm -hmm. movie. I mean, it's pretty okay. much a dive in the wool horse movie. Sure. So, um, and that the sequel is same genre, but it's a little different. There was a character in the first movie mm -hmm. named Goth, mm -hmm. who was the cantankerous horse trainer. And this story kind of dovetails into mm -hmm. a little bit of his background. He has a little bit of a dark past, a little oh. bit of a estranged relationship mm -hmm. with a daughter who won't talk to him. And the main character in this story is uh, his granddaughter, who he didn't know he had until mm -hmm. just a few days oh. before. Oh. And now she's going to be staying with him for two weeks. Oh, well, she likes horses. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of an odd couple. Kind of thing. Oh, interesting. Odd, the odd, like... The odd couple? Or? Well, yeah, a cantankerous horse trainer who used to be a drunk and all the rest uh -huh. now is stuck with a 14-year-old kid. Oh. So you know, they don't relate so well. Uh -huh. you know. Oh, that'd be interesting to see that yeah. uh, push and pull of the relationship Exactly. There. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to show a clip from that. Is that okay? I show think that's okay. Okay, we're going to show a clip of that movie. Hey, Jesse. You're supposed to do the stalls first. All done. Already? Check it out. All right. Uh, what about the... I already brushed Grace. All right. Uh, how about the... I cleaned your saddle for you, too. All right, then. Do I want a lesson? We'll take him outside. like the most difficult thing about making a movie? I mean, it takes two years, obviously. <laughs> well, it doesn't really take two years. <laughs> I mean, between all of life, mm -hmm. you know, it takes place over two years. Mm -hmm. I think in all reality, it takes about six months of actual, if you were really working in a full-time mm -hmm. way. Like full-time? Yeah, on yeah, it. exactly. So um, I have, you know, a business that I have to run in uh -huh. the meantime, you know, and the, yeah. the films are, I won't say they're a hobby, but they're kind of a, a glorified mm -hmm. hobby. Okay. What's been like the most rewarding part of making the movies? The challenge of doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, people think that, um, people have a lot of misconceptions actually about, mm -hmm. f about filmmaking. I mean, uh, especially with a film like Hill by Grace, which, which has been, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people around mm -hmm. the globe have seen that film. And, you know, being in the film business, it doesn't make you rich. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and it's not particularly glamorous. The actual work of doing it is very solitary. I mean, writing a script, mm -hmm. editing a film, um, I write the score, mm -hmm. you know, so these are all pretty solitary endeavors. So for me, the rewarding part of it is the challenge of doing each of those components as well as I can. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, so it's a very 
singular kind of Yeah, it proceed. would be a solitary thing if, you, if you're in a cave just editing the thing for well, hours. Well, it isn't actually a cave as in rock. <laughs> it's not a rock cave. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, but it's a basement. It's a dungeon. Or a cellar. It's not even a basement. Now, it used to be a basement. Mm -hmm. Um, you were in. You saw my basement studio. I saw. I saw a studio of some sort when yeah. I was in a. In so, a, but this uh, is a different house now, so it's okay. not the basement. But so hmm. you did have to work with some actors that maybe were um, difficult to work with. I well, mean, you were the most <laughs> difficult actor I worked with. And, and that. So the movie. Like I, a segue. Well, <laughs> it's a good segue. The movie I made after. Can I tell the audience the story? Uh, do you you guys want to hear this story? Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys definitely okay. want to hear this. Okay, yeah, so free, after free I made free this free. film, Healed by Grace, which was fairly successful, mm -hmm. um, and the and distributor yeah. that handled that film came to me and she's like, "They're like, we want to, you know, bootstrap another movie." Mm -hmm. And so this guy <laughs> actually. Believe it or not, played the lead in that movie. And I asked for. And he did a very good job. I dog. asked for. Uh, I think it was Mailman Number Three. Oh, <laughs> but you wouldn't give it to me. You got the lead. I got the lead. More. And uh, I remember you wore a hat very much like this one. I did. In much I did. of it. I love so that, hat. that was a really fun experience. Um, I, the movie bombed. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell you, it mm -hmm. sold about four copies. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I bought Tony bought three of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did a little better than that, but but it wasn't the success that the mm -hmm. the horse movie was. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. But, but you had a, you had a lot of promotion for that first. But if you get disconnect, time. reconnect. <laughs> <laughs> if you find it, I'm sure it's out there on DVD. It's on you, Amazon. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and it is. A, there's a lot of really funny cute moments in mm -hmm. that movie and I, yeah. I enjoy going back and looking at it. All of which were the scenes I was not in. So. Yeah. Oh no, 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 you did a fine job. Oh. So that Maybe. was fun. And you're, and you're a painter, I hear. I'm, I saw. I'm an artsy fartsy guy, Tony, <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, I, More I, artsy, I hope, then. I paint. <laughs> well, actually, you know what, the next project is, is you may find interesting, mm -hmm. which is an anime. We're actually developing a... Animation? An, yeah, Ooh, an oh. a, anime, you know, oh, interesting. Japanese style. Uh -huh anime cartoons, so that's kind of the next project that's oh. in the works. Power Do you have uh, Healed by Grace like action figures or anything Ooh. like that? <laughs> we don't. No? You know, <laughs> it's just, it's not that market. You know, <laughs> you can put a horse on the shelf or whatever, maybe yeah. Toys R Us. I mean, but come on, horses are horses, right? Of course, yeah. I mean, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think there are horses out there that you can get that are, could be classified as an action just, figure. It's just right Healed by Grace under it, yeah. in the belly, and you're, you're scratch saying. off no the No one's approached me about those kinds of okay. promotional opportunities, unfortunately. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah, we maybe should. my day will come. <laughs> <laughs> no, my ship will come in. Because sure. <laughs> I would like to have an action figure yeah. for me. I want to have an action figure of you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, we need a bobblehead. It kept falling over, though, because it's so, you know, middle heavy. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> what I touch? Well, um, hey. Are you ready for a challenge? Sure. Let's do this. All right, you okay. have another scene? It's not the same scene. No, right? I, I okay. got another scene. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to have a plate and a marker okay. of your choice, careful or sharp. And I'm going to, um, we're going to draw whatever he's saying on the plate, but on our head. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So and I have no advantage. I usually cheat. Of course. But tonight I didn't. Okay. Because you're here. Am I allowed to cheat? You can are. I start drawing right now? You can, but you don't know what he's saying. So. Right, I know. Okay, right. go ahead. I'm right. just, I'm just trying to. Already. <laughs> this right, should be interesting. That. Okay, go ahead. so Lee, go ahead. Well, you have to put him on your head. Oh, okay, on the okay. head. He's cheating, see? So. Okay. I see that. <laughs> okay. I'm don't not do, cheating. Don't do a horse. <laughs> okay. Okay, you are in a large cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Okay. There are seagulls above you, thousands oh, of seagulls, uh, okay. and the people on the cruise ship are looking up, <laughs> and they see that there is a giant peach floating across the sky. A giant, okay. Giant peach floating across peach the is sky, a fuzzy now we're we're here. <laughs> being pulled by the seagulls. The giant peach is getting giant pulled peach by is being pulled by the seagulls. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now on top of the peach okay. Wait, is a huge top? centipede. Oh, wow, this sounds familiar. I should hope so. I never read the book, but okay. okay. Below the cruise ship is a big whale. And it looks like he's going to ram the ship. And end, end scene. scene. Nice.
Okay. Wow. So, <laughs> that came out a lot better All right, than I so thought. All right, so who's going to, you want me to show mine first again? So show yours first. Show and again, first. audience, we're going to do a oh thumbs up. Gosh. I want to see. Now we don't have the other Give me a peek. <laughs> Okay, okay, by thumbs up if you Here think Tony has a great. Bad. Oh, that's not very good. Oh, and not a tumor. That's, that's the whale. That's the tail of the whale right there. <laughs> that actually looks, looks like, like a whale. Face, and this really. is the the boat and then the, the big smokestack. Where's the peach? The peach is it's in this area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Okay, you got a lot of crickets. Yeah. And okay. next for a thumbs up. Which, uh, uh, okay. It's a little bit there. more. Okay, it's so like that's a, me. It's up the top. face. That's you up top. Yeah, and yeah, this is right here. This is <laughs> yeah. my face. Oh, up on top of the. Yeah, okay. and I am technically on the boat, <laughs> and, and here's the whale way down below. It's it's far away, so that's why it looks smaller. And then I like your here's the peach. Your depth perception there. Okay, and then we've got the seagulls. No, I think I think we don't even need a thumbs need up. A Audience, what do you think, Pearl. Tony? Pearl. Yeah. Ooh, crickets. I think they're all gone. And. Wow, look at that. Standing wow. ovation. Oh, that one, that one. Woo! The crowd goes right. crazy. Well, audience that's, that's left, good. would you please thank Dave Weiss for being here? Dave. Thanks a lot. Thank you for and having go right. see that movie. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Yes, oh, it was a who? Well, hey, you made it this far. That's wonderful. That's um, thanks for hanging on with us. Uh, the stage is kind of okay, but I think the audience is kind of kind of going away because Twindled. they're all eating right now. Because right. yesterday was National Pickle Day. National Pickle Day, <laughs> which I think is why we're here. Because the audience members, we had 415 at the beginning, and I'd like to thank the remaining front row mm -hmm. for staying with us. Where are we going next time? Well, we're in Aretha, Kansas now. I think we should probably head back home because it'll be around Christmas. Christmas time. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, you people are going to want to see you for some strange reason. Yeah. And people are going to want to see me for uh, the obvious reasons. Card games. Yeah, so yeah. I think we're going to be in Fort Wayne okay. uh, in, right. in December. Yeah. I think that'd be nice. Right. Yeah. And then from there, I think we're going to go to Europe. Europe? I've talked with management okay. and I've talked with legal mm -hmm. and they want us out of the country <laughs> <laughs> next year <laughs> so i think we're going to be doing a worldwide <laughs> tour why are they want us out of the country i or? i don't know you know i mm. see a lot of legal vehicles in the parking lot yes. all the time well my therapy's over that's good uh because they were trying to convince me that I, there was a baby in a high chair <laughs> and i am no longer seeing it uh, I wasn't before either, so. I think it wasn't your so therapy is that you're supposed to recognize. I'm supposed to see the baby? I that see. there's the possibility of something on the set that you should be seeing, but, so you're, but you're not seeing it. Yeah. You're blocking. Maybe I got the wrong guy. You're blocking. Maybe he was trying to get me to not see it. Yeah, I think you need to get unblocked. <laughs> okay, okay. I think there's medicine for that. So, but there are some European people we can oh, see. the FDA is not in Europe. <laughs> Uh, if you want to email us, you can email us at, uh, let's see, I think I'll put it, where should I put it? Um, down, down here, here, down here. Down here? And let's I'll go up with it. Right here? Start okay, down. It's right here, Mastication Station at Yahoo.com. <laughs> Mastication Station at Yahoo.com. <laughs> so if you want to email us, you can do that. And give us any uh, quips, humorous vignettes, any uh, recipe challenges. swaps, challenges. Challenges. Because we're running out quickly. Yeah, we're running out of the good ones anyways. Um, so. Uh, email us email us at mastigation station at yahoo.com and you'll see us next time. Bye bye.
waiting. We're waiting. 